Hi right, guys, this is the um, newly released piece of performance a bar 595 slash 500 catch can install. So today we're just going to be going over pretty much the uh, installation for the catch can. This is the kind of kit you get with it, you get your instructions, the catch can itself, the lines, uh, the self tappers to fix to the car, all your kind of fittings and whatnot. You get a bit of uh, spare heat shrink as well. Without further ado, let's get into this. Right, the wind might be a bit bad for this video, but we'll try and pretty much do it as quick as possible. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to remove uh, the intake system. Now we are currently running the forged uh, intake system, but you know, it's pretty much the exact same process. We just need to remove the uh, the bulk of the intake system because we need to access, you know, certain parts uh, underneath it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so we have the uh, intake off right now, <clears throat> so we can see the bulk of what we're working with. So we currently, the, sorry, the next process we need to do is remove the oil breather hose that's connected to the oil separator and then to the uh, intake elbow. So again, with these, they're only brake only clips, and obviously you get supplied jubilees uh, with these. But if you push them in and then twist them, they'll break like that, you can see. Now this one's a bit tricky, so it's working with the elbow, but you just get her in and then twist it and it should come off. So what I found was easiest uh, to actually get the oil breather hose off was to put the screwdriver here and then push off. As you can see, it releases it from the uh, intake hose and then just, just twist it off. And then there you go. Okay, so the first step we actually need to remove this uh, bit of tube in here. So again, it's just these single um again single use clips there we go so we got one that was a really awkward on that and the second one's in even awkward position make sure you get the right one it's the one on the uh, left hand side there we go i got it bloody hell that was hard okay so we've removed the line as you can see it was a right faff on i actually had to um cut if you can see that on the camera i actually had to cut it uh, slightly because it was so caked on with old oil it like seized itself on um and with it being only a plastic fitting i didn't want a real pull on it and stuff like that and uh break it but yeah it's off now anyway so what the uh, what our next job is is um to fit on the block um silicon block cap uh, for it so for this it's pretty simple for this you're just going to slide her on then you're going to tighten um this up uh with either a screwdriver or i believe it's a six uh mil probably back it off a good way yeah so we're just going to stick her on here i'm pretty sure this is to stop like vacuum leaks and stuff so we're going to get right snug on the uh, Jubilee clip as far down as we can. I'm going to tighten it up. I'm hoping you can see this on camera. I've not really checked. I was going to actually bring that uh, Jubilee clip up a tiny bit. Probably should have got a uh, bigger screwdriver here. Tighten it. We won't fully nip it up just in case, but um, that's on. You know we got. You know it's on. It's on there. Obviously it needs just tighten slightly. Just make sure. Check it all with your finger and make sure it's on. But yeah. Okay. Our next step for this job is to get rid of the oil separator. So it's one, two, three, ten millimeter bolts. I've got a tiny extension on it. That's a deep socket, but I'm not too sure that you need it. Uh, as of yet, I'm still yet to find out. Yeah. Three. Now real careful with this but you just want if you can slightly bring this bracket up a tiny bit and you worm it worm it out a little bloody hell was a bit hard but like so there you go you can see it all 
in there. I'm gonna give that a good clean up. So while we're currently in here, we're just actually, uh, just grabbed ourselves a comp board and we're just trying to, uh, scrape up as much crap as possible in here. Okay, so we've cleaned uh, inside there now. And what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna put the new fit in, the new actual, um, the PP, uh, AN10 adapter actually in here and then mount it back down using the longest screw that we pulled out So we're gonna fit that in now <laughs> So obviously again lifting just lifting up this bracket just slightly Kind of <sighs> stick it in there Line I don't know if you can see it on the video, but if you you're just lining that up with that bracket Push that in Make sure it's flush. Line that up so you can you can clearly see. You know you push that down and it's lined up. That's mounted flush. Now you're just going to take your longest uh, 10 mil bolt with your ratchet and going to reinstall the OEM hardware and secure it down into place. Just remember to use the. Uh, the longest most tunnel bolt I'm not going to fully tighten it 100% up just in case we need to slack it off but uh, yeah I'd say that's okay so we're in jobs are good in. Okay, so for this next step we're going to be actually installing the uh, catch can mount point so we've got the adapter here yeah, the screws to the bottom of the catch can and they don't necessarily give you the exact place to put it but essentially what they say is put it in a place where you you know you can unscrew it and stuff uh, going off the picture they provided they kind of mount it just in line so just kind of like push right up here and then you self tap straight in so what we're actually going to do is get a mark pen a screwdriver you can also use a center punch um gonna get our mark pen offer it up only kind of rough do our two little dots somewhere kind of about okay so the hardware that they had supplied with like five mil um hex head um self tappers don't have a five mil so i've got some self tappers of my own which are phillips heads i'm just going to make sure they fit now which they do which i'm happy to use uh so i'm just going to use them i don't think there'll be any problem using them uh, and mounting onto the oil catch can but yeah just uh well that's one just to think about before you're doing this That's one. Find out. upside down right now. Okay. I started that one. I'm gonna get the other self top it. Already pre pre dump thread, so it should just go straight into this. Well, hopefully, you can see this uh, thread it in. I'm gonna use our adjustable to get it nice and tight. So, again, PTFE this, and I'm just gonna uh, put the 90 degree adapter onto the longest bit of tube. Uh, now that we've got that attached, we're actually going to be attaching the 90 degree angle onto our adapter. Uh, so we're just going to loosely screw her on quick. 
obviously this uh, line's going to be getting plugged into there so we're just going to try and uh, get that fed as best as possible before we lock it in place just going to send it back behind all this stuff okay <clears throat> so taking uh, one of three of the supplied black jubilee clips we're going to slide it over the fitting here and push it on put the uh, the braided line on to the catch can and push it right up so it's nipped up to uh, the spanner and then from there what we're going to do we are just going to ratchet obviously you shouldn't have tightened this up this still should be loose it needs um, area to uh, move uh, just so obviously you can uh, adjust it accordingly so we are just going to now tighten and stick this on uh, first on to the original plastic uh, arm Alright guys, so we're pretty much uh, finished the installation now, so you want to take your 2.5mm uh, Allen key, preferably don't drop it like I did, um, and just tighten the two um, fixing Allen keys on top of the catch can, and then you want to get your, then you want to get your 7mm socket and you want to just tighten up the one down here if you can get at it there make sure the elbow is up and tight this one in here which is nice and nipped up the back the back here to stop the vacuum leak then take your 25 mil spanner and tighten up the adapter obviously that should be really nice and tight now then get your um, 10 mil on the adapter and then tighten down the fixing bracket to the adapter and that is pretty much everything sorted. Obviously you need to reinstall your intake which we're going to do now and then we'll do a final review. Okay so everything's reinstalled now so we have the intake reinstalled. The catch can installed, everything tightened up. Basically, what you what you need to do now is just make sure everything's tightened up, and then you're pretty much good to go. Go give it a test drive, make sure there's no leaks. You know, if there is, retighten it. If you know, if there is a leak or whatever, just kind of go back over the steps and do what you need to do. I think you know the kit in general really does look good. You know, little sleek catch can in back. Yeah, everything's perfect, so we'll start it up now, make sure everything's good, and then we'll end the video. So again, we'll just check in, make sure everything's all good. It should look like it, no leaks. Everything looks perfect. 